Good morning. You're listening to Senior Scene on your hometown station, 1430 WNAV. I'm Joshua Killian, social media producer with the Anne Arundel County Department of Aging Disabilities. Today, my guest is Richard Bowen, Program Manager for Waste Management Services at the Anne Arundel County Department of Public Works. Welcome to Senior Scene, Richard. Ah, yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it, Josh. And with much of the holiday season coming to a close and with New Year's right on the horizon, many of our county residents may have uh, questions regarding when recycling and waste can be picked up, as well as what can be recycled. Can you start by telling us, uh, will there be any changes to curbside pickup times like there was for the earlier holidays this year? Yes, there will be. Um, so the Christmas holiday is being observed on December 26th, which, which is a Monday. So all facilities will be closed on that date and curbside collection will not occur. And what we'll do is Monday customers will receive their collection on Tuesday, December 27th. And Tuesday customers will receive their collection on Wednesday, December 28th. The same will apply for the following week for New Year's. So um, no collection on Monday, January 2nd. Uh, Monday's collection will happen on Tuesday, January 3rd. And uh, Tuesday's customers will receive collection on Wednesday, uh, January 4th. So we, we call a slide. We have the benefit of uh, there's no curbside collection on Wednesdays in the county. So whenever there's a holiday, we have that window in the middle of the week that we can uh, make the change and, and affect or impact as you know, few customers as possible. Okay, well, now that we know what time the trucks will be running on, it might be important for our listeners uh, to know what to do with holiday waste. Let's start off with the elephant in the room. Uh, what do we do with a Christmas tree when we're ready for curbside collection? Okay, well, natural Christmas trees and garland um, are accepted at the curb uh, along with yard waste. So your grass and leaves um, goes out on the same day as, as trash and recycling. Um, we have to make sure that all ornaments are removed, all you know, tinsel, any type of uh, decoration on the tree should be uh, removed. The stand uh, also should not be um, put out with the tree. The tree does not have to go in a a bag, you know, a, a paper bag or or a container. It can be sat on the ground um, right next to uh, any other yard waste that the residents may have out for collection um, at the curb. Having out by six a.m. on their collection day. And we ask any large trees, you know, something that's you know, eight to 10 feet high or tall should be cut in half. Uh, the back of the truck, you know, is a certain width and, um, you know, the larger trees can be problematic. So we ask residents to you know, help us out and help the contractors out that are making collections and, and go ahead and, and cut the tree in half if they would. And what about some of our other holiday favorites, like strings of light, tinsel, ribbons and glass ornaments? What is and isn't recyclable when it comes to the holiday season? Well, of the ones you mentioned, uh, the ones that uh, the one item that is recyclable, if you have a, a, a string of uh, holiday lights that are no longer working, those are accepted not at the curb. Um, and none of these items you mentioned are accepted at the curb within curbside recycling. But um, holiday lights are accepted within our electronics recycling program, which um, is a drop off program that residents can take advantage of at our uh, recycling centers. We have three recycling centers and um, we also uh, offer electronics recycling at the landfill. So if they want to recycle those items and, and avoid disposing of this trash, uh, they can bring the, the, the string lights to us. With tinsel ribbons, um, you know, ribbon really is reusable. We really encourage residents to, to, to reduce waste um, by reusing anything they can, donating anything they can. So ornaments that, you know, may still be, you know, in good working order, may not, you know, fit the decor you're using on your holiday uh, tree this year or years to come, maybe, you know, there's an entity that might be interested in, in uh, those instant things. So we ask residents, I think, of, of donating as well, but greeting cards, you know, that sort of thing, recyclables, paper, as long as there's no decoration, same with, with paper, but once again, try to think with the paper and maybe re reuse uh, instead of recycling. And uh, can you give us a few other items, for example, batteries that we should never toss in the trash in roadside collection bin, no matter what time of year it is? Sure. Yeah, the rechargeable batteries. So I'm um, sure um, you know, a lot of children may be getting a new battery powered toy. And um, if they're getting rid of the old one or maybe someone's getting a, a rechargeable tool, those rechargeable batteries should not be placed in trash or recycling. And they are not accepted at our, at our facilities either. Um, those items can be recycled, though. There, there's some take back programs in the area. We list on our website um, a web a website to go to called call to recycle.org. It's the, the word call C A L L, the number two recycle.org. 
that has a locator option on there where you can put in your zip code and it can give you potential locations where, um, you know, rechargeable battery uh, can be dropped off um, safely for, for recycling. Uh, alkaline batteries, you know, your regular, you know, uh, those type of batteries, those are okay to, to go in the trash um, if they're, if they're you know, fully used and, and no longer have a charge to them. Uh, those can be disposed of trash. There is not a, a recycling option for those. Currently, there are some mailback programs that people can look look at on the website, but those do come at a cost normally. And uh, lastly, could you tell us what the one thing is you'd like our listeners to take away from our talk today? Uh, I mentioned earlier, a big thing is, is considered donation. So, you know, you're gonna be, people, residents are going to be getting, you know, new things and in with the new, out with the old. Well, the old may still be, you know, usable or, you know, to an entity that uh, would appreciate the uh, the donation. So please, you know, a piece of furniture, clothing, um, old toys, what have you, that, you know, there's an option um, for someone else to reuse that, to consider that definitely. Uh, the other thing would be, you know, um, a lot of, there's a lot of wish recycling goes on throughout the year, and it goes on this time of year as well. People, they see a recycling symbol on it, you know, the chasing arrows, or it's made out of plastic. Well, it must be accepted as for recycling. And we ask residents to, um, you know, if you're uncertain about an item, to contact us, or we have a, an app that residents can use now called Recycle Coach. We really uh, highly recommend that they, they can download it on their phone to use it, or there's a desktop version as well. It has a search tool in there that allows uh, them to go in and, and put an item in. It's very user friendly to determine how they can get rid of it within our program. And if it's not accepted in our program, with many things, we provide a, an alternative option that that may be uh, offered by another entity outside of the county. Uh, and then the other thing would be to call us if they're not certain. If they don't want to use the app, don't you know? Don't want to go on the PC? Then call us at four ten two 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 seven nine five one Monday through Friday, uh, eight to four thirty. Um, we're here. We answer the phone and we can ask answer any questions that the residents might have. Because uh, we don't want contamination in the recycling, we, um, so we want residents to be able to do it properly, and, and we're here to help. Well, well, Richard, thank you so much for coming on the show today to talk to our listeners about waste reduction and recycling. Yeah, my pleasure. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you. If you have any questions about today's show, or if you're interested in any of our programs, please feel free to contact the Department of Aging Disabilities at 410-222-4257, or visit us online. We also encourage everyone to register for our Senior Activity Center programming, which can be found on our website, aacounty.org forward slash senior hyphen center. Please remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at AACODOAD and on our YouTube channel at Arundel Seniors. You catch Senior Scene first only on 1430 WNAV. Remember to tune into full episodes on our YouTube channel at Arundel Seniors on Thursdays at 10 a.m. This has been Joshua Killian, social media producer with the Interim County Department of Aging Disabilities, and you'll be listening to Senior Scene on your hometown station, 1430 WNAV.